Hello, welcome to quarter two. We're going to be working on lesson 10. Those are the materials that you need to have for lesson 10. And then we'll go over that in just a few minutes. So lesson 10, get those materials together. And we are going to start with counting some more dimes and pennies. Remember, a penny has a value of one cent and a dime has a value of 10 cents. So keep that in mind as we work these problems. Okay, so we are going to begin by counting out, starting by tens, and you're going to help me, and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So there is 100, or we could exchange that 10 groups of 10 pennies for a dollar. But I think what I'm going to do is we're going to count back. We're going to count back. So if I take one away, that would be 90. Take 10 away would be 80. And instead, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, I'm going to put on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pennies. Now let's count and see how much we have now. Are we ready? And 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. So we have 85 cents. Now, if I wanted to, I could keep counting up from 85 to 95 if I would like to. So if I put in another dime, if I put in another dime, what would that take us to? So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, and now I have to go up 10 cents. What would that do for me if I went up 10 cents? Well, if I went from 85, I would have to count up 10 more, and what would that give you? Say it out loud. If you said 95, congratulations. So we're going to be at 95 and continue, continue counting. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Now we're at 100. We're going to continue counting. 101, 102, 103, 104. I'm going to move those down. 104. 105. So now I have a value of 105. Let's count that again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, counting up 10 to 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. So I'm going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I'm going to exchange those 10 pennies for a, if you said dime, will I still have the same value if I change that for a dime? Let's count and see if we did. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 95, going up another 10 would put me at, what did you say? Did you say 105? If you did, congratulations. That's very well done. Okay, we're going to try counting again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I, what is my value now of these pennies? 15. You are absolutely correct. Could I take these 10 pennies and exchange them for a dime? Well, I could. So I'm going to take 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 of those pennies, and I'm going to exchange them for a dime. Is my value still the same? Do I still have 15? 10, count it with me, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's go up another 10. So from 15 to 
Did you say 25? 15 to 25? So let's look at this. I'm going to just switch this to show you that that's exactly what that would be. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. What if I put in another dime? Did you say 35? Now what? 45? 55? 65? 75? 85? Up another 10. 95? What if I put in another dime? Would that give me 105? 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116. So I have 116 cents. Let's count that again. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 116. All right, so there you go, counting using tens and ones using my dimes and my pennies. Of course, you can try more of these by yourself if you would like to. All right, so we are going to look at um, Sprint 10. Oops, hang on just a second. There we go, Sprint. We have a Sprint, and remember on our Sprints, you get one minute, one minute to do the Sprint and there will need to be somebody at your home who will time you for one minute. You need to get as far as you can on the sprint. So you do one minute for um, the A side, and then of course you're going to do one minute on the B side. So you have two sides to do. Remember you're always going to try and do a little bit better on the second side than you did on the first side. So that will be the first thing that you need to do is the sprints. They are a one minute timing. Remember you put how many you got correct over here and you're trying to improve that score the next time. So make sure that before you start trying to do the problem set or the homework that you watch the video that goes with problem set 10. That will be very important in helping you to better understand what to do on the problem set. Now this is gonna seem like kind of a short lesson because there's only one problem for the problem set and one problem for the homework. So you're gonna to need to read those instructions. Read those instructions. It says to work with a partner, but you're not going to be able to do that. Jerry wonders how many $10 bills are, are equal to a, to a $1,000 bill. That's what you're trying to find out. So you're going to be, uh, it says to work with a partner, but you'll have to work by yourself. Explain your solution using words, pictures, or numbers. Ask yourself, uh, can I draw something? What can I draw? What can I learn from my drawing? And remember to write the answer as a statement. So you might want to write something to the effect of, I'll just give you an idea here, maybe a blank, blank, um, $10 bills are equal to a thousand dollar bill. That's the question that you're trying to answer. How many ten dollar bills are equal, whoops, sorry, how many ten dollar bills are equal to a thousand dollar bill? So that's the question that you're trying to answer and you're going to draw your solution here on the paper. Then you're coming over to the second one, and it's basically the same thing that you just did, except that you're looking for a different strategy this time. You're looking for a different strategy, and I do want you to try it. See if you can come up with a different way of 
showing that problem. It's exactly the same problem, but you're looking for now a different strategy. And of course, then you need to do your exit ticket. Don't forget your name. And you need to make sure that you send that to your homeroom teacher. She'll be looking for it. Send to your teacher. And make sure that when you send that picture, that the picture comes through nice and clear for us because sometimes it's hard for me to do that. And again, you are looking for um, a different strategy. I don't really care on your exit ticket if you would like to use one of the two strategies you used before. I would be okay with that, but it is saying a different strategy. But I'm going to say that if you liked one of the two strategies that you did, I would be okay with that. So you're going to send that to your teacher. So I know this video was very short today. Make sure you watch the other video from Eureka, and um, I look forward to seeing your exit tickets. See ya.